bugs. Well, it has more than its fair share. I know I'm not talking about the Thargoid variety, even though those bugs are occasionally bugged too. To be fair, Elite is far from the only game to suffer from a load of bugs, but it is one of the few that has so many long-standing ones. So in this video, I want to take a look at some of those issues and really ask whether or not they might ever actually get fixed. And then there's the somewhat related case of information. Now, bugs come in all shapes and forms. There's bugs that really just make you wonder, such as the leaving wing bug, where the message indefinitely stays on the screen. You can see an example of that here. The footage was captured by Commander Exigius over three years ago. The bug still exists. Like I say, it's one of those things that really makes you wonder. Then there's other bugs which have a hefty impact on certain game loops. The Beyond series of updates brought a load of new content to Elite. One of these was Megaship Scenarios. That is, the ability to enter an area of space that contains a megaship and be presented with a potential for a dynamic mission. It's nice content and a concept that brings some life to the game. Yet, they don't always work. One example of this is when looting cargo canisters, they can get stuck inside the megaship cargo hold. It's a known problem, it's on Frontier's issue tracker, now check the date. Yes, it's nearly one year since this issue was reported, and it's still an issue today. Effectively, this renders a game loop broken. Now, we don't know why this problem hasn't been fixed. All we know is that it's on Frontier's issue tracker, and that has a lot of upvotes. Unfortunately, it's far from the only bug. Some of them can be game-breaking, others just minor. The previous examples are quite illustrative of this. Another outstanding bug, Guardian Module Reinforcement for Power Priority. It draws power, but cannot have its priority set. Both this issue and the Megaship bug are talked about on the official forums in recent days. But dig a little deeper, and you'll soon find tons of bugs. And then there's also the server stability issues. Every week it seems there's multiple forum threads questioning what's going on with the stability of the server at any given time. Now, I was tempted in this video to focus on a whole variety of different bugs, both past and present, but that seems unnecessary for many different reasons. Firstly, you only have to go to the issues tracker to see the vast number of bugs that have been reported over the years. Or you can just look at historical videos on YouTube, which highlight that the Pulse Wave Scanner, for example, took four months to be fixed, effectively rendering a large part of mining unusable. Or even back when exquisite focus crystals disappeared from the game in its entirety for six months or more. And of course, there was the Beige Plague, with a huge number of planets simply turning beige. That lasted for far longer than I care to remember. Now, to be fair, these problems were fixed eventually, but it was a struggle for the community to get any information on what was occurring with these problems as they were occurring. Don't get me wrong, this isn't about dredging up the past, but it is a case of pointing out the history and previous precedents. Also, I'm not for one second saying that Elite is a complete and utter unworkable broken mess. What I am saying is that Elite has far more than its fair share of problems, and that over time, they seem to continue to grow. So, where does that leave us? Well, there's a huge expansion right around the corner. The Odyssey update is the perfect opportunity to fix some of these long-standing bugs, but it will also, without a doubt, bring a whole load of new bugs. Bugs in new releases isn't unreasonable, it's to be expected, and that's why Odyssey is going to have an alpha. Now, Microsoft Flight Simulator released the middle of last year, and all these months later, it still has quite a few problems, some of them which are very much game-breaking. Warframe recently launched its latest expansion, which, whilst adding great new content, also brought with it some problems, leading to some parts of the community recommending players wait for a few weeks before even logging in. These things happen, that's the nature of games releases. Odyssey will likely have its own problems, and again, that's why it's been tested, it's all to be expected. So what point am I trying to make here? Well, ultimately, for me at least, it all comes down to information. A Sabre Studio, the developers behind Microsoft Flight Simulator, provide a weekly snapshot on where things stand with development. They provide a roadmap, highlighting the next three months or so of releases. The roadmap provides dates for content updates, social media releases, and any other information that is useful for the community. 
The snapshot, meanwhile, contains information on the top voted issues by the community, and then has Sobo's response to these. This might give information on when to expect fixes to pressing issues, or when to expect content releases. Asobo are generally very specific with information and trust their community. This update, for example, is highly desired by the players, yet Asobo are willing to say don't expect it until 2023. It's not all roses, of course. There is issues. The current round of problems with performance in the Microsoft Flight Simulator are generally being met by silence with developers. Uh, there's a bit of information on it, but not anything that's specific, uh, specific enough to be very helpful. But things do get fixed, the game improves, and the main point I'm making is that, for the most part, the community knows where things stand with many given issues. Digital Extremes with Warframe are also generally considered very good when it comes to providing information to the community. It's not perfect, but they generally don't hold back. Now, I won't go into details here, as I've already covered one other developer. Ultimately then, this brings me back to Frontier. Now, I know not everyone will appreciate the comparisons here, and I know some people will be unhappy to hear one developer being compared to another, full stop. And I want to be frank here, this isn't about praising one developer and bashing another. All studios have their strengths and weaknesses after all. No, this video is about one thing very specific, and that is the number of ongoing, long-time, outstanding bugs that Elite has, and the distinct lack of information on when or even if these will get fixed. It's something that I personally feel needs to be addressed. It may be that Odyssey fixes many of these, but regardless of that, the expansion will certainly bring with it its own problems and bugs, which will just bring us right back to square one on the same situation. So really, the answer again is a clarity of information for the community. Do let me know your thoughts on this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.